Good afternoon! It's not morning, so it's not Sunday morning MSQ, but that's because my parents were over this morning to say hi, and so they just left, and so now I'm going to hop in and get my stream done. Before I go back to trying to platinum my PlayStation games, which I'll be doing all day tomorrow as well, because I took off for a long weekend! Yay, long weekend! Let uh, me adjust this just a little bit, because it's bugging me. No, no, no. Yes, yes, okay. So, we are in the middle of 2.2 through the Maelstrom. We have just uh, helped the Domans, who uh, arrived in Vesper Bay, move. So, after... 2.1 where the scions moved from Vester Bay to Revenant's Toll. We now did that whole caravan again to move the ref Domen refugees from Vesper Bay to Revenant's Toll because the syndicate said we have enough refugees that we're not helping. We're going to not help a whole bunch more. And so that's kind of where we left off. And so now we're going to pick up and see we've Yugiri and Kikyo and Kasasagi are still here in Ulda, getting ready to head out. Um, and at the same time, there were these thefts going on in Horizon, um, which sounds really weird to say now because I'm playing Horizon Zero Dawn, um, where it seems some serpent reavers were stealing some crystals. Wonder what that's all about? Maybe we'll figure it out. So. We are ready to depart at your earliest convenience, but say the word and but say the word and we shall follow. I hope this proves to be the final leg of our journey. The Malms have taken their toll. Many great and terrible beasts roam the wastes of Mordona, yes, then we must needs keep a closer eye on the children. It is past time Lady Yugiri met with the guild representatives in Revenant's Toll. Since I do not foresee any further matters arising here in Thanalan which might require your personal attention, I would instead have you serve as an escort to the Domen delegation for the duration of the journey. Speak first with Schlafborn upon your arrival. He is the one with whom the Domans will be working most closely, I should think. Afterwards, introduce Lady Yugiri to Minfilia and the Guild Emissary. If both meetings go well, the resulting tie should stand the Domans in good stead from that which is to come. Safe travels, Gale. Real quick visit. Long journey. Of course, I say that, and then it takes forever to zone in. Come on. Oh my god, this is going to take forever. Am I going to 90k? There we go. Alright, Slathborn is behind me. There you are. A 
And this must be the esteemed Lady Yugiri and her associates. I greet you all as friends and bid you welcome to the toll. I hope you do not find our dearth of fineries off-putting. Poor though we may seem, we have a wealth of spirits and camaraderie to spare. You see, race and creed don't enter into it here. We welcome all sorts, provided they are willing to earn their keep, of course. We are no strangers to hard work, Master Slathborn. You may rest assured that we will carry out your orders with due diligence. Oh, not for a moment did I doubt your commitment, my lady. Pray understand, I give the same speech to all new arrivals, and you needn't bow your head or call me master either. We are both frontier hands, as far as I'm concerned. As you wish, Slathborn. May this meeting mark the beginning of a long and fruitful relationship. Our guests have yet to meet the antecedent. Seven hells, Gale. Why are you wasting time with me? See them to the rising stones. Hey, people have moved. Let me talk to them. As is the case with other distant lands, I have heard rumors of mysterious magics and martial arts. I dare not lend credence to these tales, but I cannot help but hope that some are true. Eosia may be a land of many cultures and creeds, but I nevertheless suspect that the Domans will struggle to adapt. I wonder what herbs and spices they use in Doma. Maybe there's something I could add in my special tonic. So many youth these days fa fail to understand that it is incumbent on everyone to help those in need. That's why it is so wonderful when young men like Hori Volo rise to the occasion. <sighs> this little thing, it can... Nothing compared to what, <clears throat> to what the Domans have endured. Did they really sail that half rotted ship all the way from Ophard? Isn't that dangerous? What if it had sprung a leak? Apparently, I had to speak with Yukiri in there. To spend moons at sea to travel such a distance, I cannot fathom how the Doman survived. Apparently, they didn't follow me in here. Follow me. To whom much is given, much is expected. Forgive me, I require a moment to compose my thoughts before meeting with your leader. We shall join you at the Rising Stones anon. Alright, let's try this again.
Tis no use. Our attempts to reach the students of Beldesian continue to meet with failure. Orianger has explored other avenues of inquiry, but they too have yielded not. We will persevere, of course, yet within our hearts the truth is clear. We are but awaiting confirmation of that which we already know. How fare the Domans? I am given to understand you are kept quite busy in Vespa Bay. Mayhap you question the wisdom of aiding refugees when the primal threat remains unresolved. I should not blame you if you did, nor would I deny that this matter falls outside our normal purview. Be that as it may, I could not ignore the plight of these refugees, not when it was, in our, with, not when it was within our power to help them. Lady Yugiri is here? Please, show her in. I would very much like to meet her. Sir, sir, ma'am, sir, ma'am. We have no objections. Pray do so with our blessing. Your answer pleases me beyond words, my lady, but are you quite certain? We have no way of knowing how many might answer my summons. In the event that Revenant's toll could not accommodate all of us, we would need to find an alternative solution. Should that come to pass, we will find it together. As ever, it has been a pleasure, Antecedent. Alas, we must take our leave as the first carriages are due to arrive at any moment. Should you require aught else, pray speak with Slathborn, Lady Yugiri. Gale. Uh, fending. That would be mine. I have a 49 and a 47. And this is a 90. Yeah, yes, I will take that. <sighs> this is strength 13, tenacity 11. This is strength 5. That's strength 4, but that's tenacity 8. Vit 4, Vit I pray the Doman's journey has been uneventful. They have endured too much hardship and for far too long. Ah, forgive me. There was another matter I wished to discuss. My mother was to see to it that the Domans received a welcome supper. Now that the first group is nearly here, would you go and see if she is in need of assistance? I am amazed that none here knew of the War of Succession until we arrived. Have you truly heard naught of what has transpired? Nope. I dared not give myself to hope in full, but for the first time in many moons I am willing to do so. Mayhap I worry over much. With so many able-bodied adventurers about, what beast could pose a threat? Alright, we got him. Ida sitting in Tataru's chair. That's hilarious. I know what you're about to ask, and my answer is final. We can spare naught else. Inspect the manifest yourself if you yet harbor doubts. Oops. Hmm, many of these adventurers are skilled artisans as well. Mayhap it would be more efficient to contract their services. I, I was really 
resting my eyes as I as as I contemplated the plight of the domans. You were sleeping in Tatara's chair. <gasps> Thankred. Hey babe, what's up? Her soft features belie a strong will and quick wit. I, this doman maiden would be Gail, I think we may need to have a chat about your habit of sneaking up on people. There is much I would know of these domans, but how best to broach the subject? Busy as they are, I doubt they are willing to indulge my curiosity. The more people we take in, the more problems we'll see. Well, that's not a very welcoming statement. Hello again, Gail. To what do I owe this pleasure? Ah, ever the worrier, my Asilia. The seventh heaven should have the meals ready by now, though I believe they have yet to be delivered. Would you mind speaking with Alice, to be sure? Oh, and take the swine with you. The adults will appreciate it. Pick up wine. Wine or something stronger? How very kind of you to volunteer your help. Here, take these meals to the emissary's assistant outside the northern gates. She'll handle distribution. As you can see, the Domans but recently arrived. I would assure you, I was assured we would have food and drink by now, but we've yet to receive aught from the seventh heaven. Either Shamani Lomani's wine is getting recognition, or Flamen has a soft spot for the blind Vitna. Slow roasted F and grilled vegetables and a wine reduction. A popular dish amongst the frontier hands of Revenant's Toll. Excellent! Many thanks, Gail. While they had rations to sate their hunger during the journey, there is no substitute for a freshly cooked meal. I must say I was not expecting you, of all people, to deliver these. Far be it from me to question your organization's delegation of duties, but surely there are other tasks better suited to your talents. Yet no shit. Though, on future consideration, I should probably consider this a blessing. We have a situation which would benefit from your personal attention. Mayhap you have already heard, but the lake cobras that inhabit the area along the road to St. Cornac's Fine have multiplied to plague-like proportions of late. This wasn't a concern for us in the past, as only proven adventurers tend to gather in Revan's Toll. However, with the recent arrival of the Doman refugees, among which our elderly and the youth both, the young both, suffice it to say I would not do for our newly arrived guests to fall prey to the local fauna. For their sake, would you be so kind as to rid us of these rampant cobras? The creatures have made nests among the broken pieces of the Imperial airship. You can use these slices of rancid meat, eft meat, to lure them out.
HP by three by five by five. Consumption, but ideal for baiting cobras. Where's the other one? Here, nest, 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 nest. It's on the other side of this rock. No eyes. Two more nests. Last one. At least that's a task more fitting somebody you can fight, rather than delivery boy. So the culling is done? Thank you. You have done us all a great service. While you were afield tending to that business, I saw that the Domans were fed. They were weary from their long journey, and the memory of their lost homeland is heavy in their hearts. Yet I dare say I sensed a glimmer of hope in their being, bearing. In time, they may yet regain, regain a semblance of inner peace. Oh, I ought to mention that something seemed to be afoot over at the Rising Stones, lest your absence be... Lest you be absent for a matter of import, it will be well to report back.
people of Eorzea hold independence sacred, and will fight to the last to preserve it. To we who have suffered under Imperium compression, this land is a bastion of hope. I am thankful we have found a place of respite, yet knowing Lady Ugiri, she is doubtless already making provisions for our next move. I'm guessing you two aren't saying anything else. Yep. You haven't come across a quite from Wineport, have you? No? Well, let me know if you do. Yustola has been rather long away on her investigation. Barring any unexpected delays, I dare say she will report back any moment now. The Adventurer's Guild will oversee the delegation of our task to our Doman friends. I shall request that this information be shared with the Scions. While I am not averse to expanding our membership, the fact is it renders us more vulnerable to infiltration. We must needs tighten our vigil. Sound advice somebody in particular should listen to. The population of Revenant's Toll has fairly doubled overnight. At this rate, it'll grow into an honest to God city before we know it. I should scarce be surprised that Eorzea has a myriad problems of its own to overcome. Nonetheless, it is heartening to know that the realm lies not beneath the Empire's shadow. How goes the fishing? Caught anything slippery? Aye. Our suspicions were well founded. The Serpent Reapers are indeed the culprits. The plot thickens. Has there been any movement in Thalilan? It has been blessedly quiet. Which is to say the Amalja are being no more or less of a nuisance than usual? Summoning a freet with such crystals as they have hoarded? Urianger too reports not out of the ordinary. Then we have our explanation. Your explanation for what, pray tell? For the recent spate of crystal thefts in Thanalan, we naturally assumed that the trail would lead us back to the Amelja. Yet it did not. It led us across the sea unto Vilbrand. Vilbrand? There have been reports of increased Sahagin activity of late. Oh gods, they mean to summon Leviathan? That is the way of it, I fear. Whilst conducting our investigation on behalf of the mineral concern, we came upon evidence implicating the Serpent Reavers. With the aid of the Maelstrom, I was able to verify our suspicions. It is only a matter of time before Leviathan returns to harrow the seas. But there is more. One of the Sahagin, an elder by my judgment, spoke of attaining the gift and knowledge of eternity. Ugh. Such a disturbance in the ether. If I did not know better, I should think this device defective. And there is the explanation. Soon, soon it shall begin. Shall rise mid surging waves to wash away the finless ones. He has a lift. A 
and I shall be granted the gift and knowledge of eternity, and with the emissary stand equal. Then shall I know no cessation, no oblivion. Whence comes this promise of immortality? The emissary? We have outstayed our welcome. The gift and knowledge. Are the two of you quite well? You... You shared that vision, did you not? Even before the Sahagin made mention of the Emissary, I recognized Elidibus's words. He is behind this. But surely it is not within his power to grant the Echo. My lady, unless we act swiftly, Leviathan will rise again. The Admiral has already requested that we intervene to prevent this. Failing that, we are to attend to the Primal's extermination. She will have our full cooperation. Let us make haste to Limsa Luminsa. Can a little bit grant an I echo? I need to play a part in this mission. Tataru, pray, take charge in my absence. My lady. Are you sure this is wise? I am aware of the risks, but there is something I must see with mine own eyes. The true nature of the Echo. Very well. I shall not stand in your way. On the condition that you permit me to accompany you as bodyguard. Your company is ever welcome, Thancred. I take it something ill is afoot. Aye, a primal is about to be loosed upon Eorzea. A primal? A godlike being whose very existence is a bane upon the land. We scions of the Seventh Dawn are sworn to put an end to their kind. I see. Know then that I am learned in the arts of war. In return for the kindness you have shown my people, I would lend you my blade. It would be most welcome. When contending with a primal, one can never have too many able allies. If you crave a more intimate understanding of the problems facing Eorzea, this experience is like to provide it. Be sure to come well prepared. Plainly, should the worst come to pass and Leviathan is summoned, our only resource will be to face him in battle. Given past experience, you may very well think that eventuality inevitable. Yet so long as there is even a chance that the Primal's return might be prevented, we must needs bend all our efforts towards achieving that goal. Before we do aught else, let us hasten to Limsa Liminsa and meet with the Admiral. She will not have been idle in the intervening time, and will doubtless have valuable information to share. To Limsa!
You are expected. Pray, take this lift to the command room. Welcome, friends. I take it Yestrola has appraised you over the situation. Let us waste no time, then. According to our best intelligence, the Sahagin had not crystals enough to summon their god. Alas, we did not count on the Serpent Reavers venturing as far as Thanalan to supplement their cash. For our short-sightedness, we are faced with the grim prospect of Leviathan's imminent return. Needless to say, I am not inclined to let the fishbacks have their way. Even as we speak, the Maelstrom makes ready to launch a large-scale operation to thwart their summoning, and we would welcome the Scion's support in this endeavor. But if, God forbids, our efforts come to naught, I will need to trouble you for more than mere support, much as I did when Titan last walked these lands. Lady Menphilia, I am given to understand that you mean to accompany our soldiers to the front lines. I can only assume that you have reasons for doing so. I do, Admiral, but I would rather not be drawn on their nature. I will say only that there is something I would see with mine own eyes. Is that so? Well, I am not so stubborn as to deny the wish of one whose aid I require, but precautions must be taken. I shall require that you remain by my side at all times. With that settled, let us speak of the operation. Private Fairheart, our accounts are currently reconnoitering Sahagan movements within the Sapsta spawning grounds. Upon completing their mission, they will return to the operation staging point at Camp, Sc Camp Skull Valley. I want you to make your way there forthwith, that you might be appraised of the latest intelligence. Commander Falkbrida has charge of the garrison. There, can, there may not be a better chance to learn the true nature of the Echo. I cannot well allow the opportunity to pass me by. The area has been altered beyond recognition. Tis sad when the places of your past may only be visited in memory. Adventurer, sir, how may I be of service? I've been expecting you, Scion of the Seventh Dawn. On behalf of the men and women here, I thank you for your cooperation. The safety of our citizens is paramount. With your aid, we will prevent Leviathan's return. Fireworks and fish don't mix. As you may already know, Maelstrom scouts have been dispatched to reconnoitre the Saopsa spawning grounds. Among other things, they have orders to determine where Leviathan might emerge, assuming it comes to that. That our scouts might move unhindered and return unscathed, divisionary maneuvers are presently underway. In charge of these maneuvers is Ujughal. If you are otherwise unoccupied, mayhap you'll be willing to offer her your aid. What's an Utrib Mikote 
doing here. You're here to help with the diversions? Aren't you supposed to be that irreplaceable adventurer, adventurer the success of the operation is hinging on? I'm inclined to say it's not worth risking your neck for something so trifling as this, but if the hero assists, who am I to argue? Here, take these explosives. Use them to blow the Sahagan Pavises sky high and create a commotion in Hastone the likes of which the fishbacks have never seen. That ought to keep them good and occupied. Oh, and in the event the Sahagan come after you, there's no need to be shy. Stay around, get yourselves acquainted, whatever it takes to buy more time for our scouts. I know she said half stone, and I should have gone the other way, but I was thinking. I was thinking here. Thank <laughs> you. 
I was up late last night. Probably take a nap after this. Sounds like the diversion was a success. Aye, I heard the fireworks all the way over here. My thanks, friend. We've done all we can for our scouts. All that's left is to pray that they return safely. Our scouts are long overdue. I fear that ill may have befallen them. For, worse or be for better or worse, we must ascertain their fate. If it is not too much to ask, I would have you aid us in the search. Five scouts ventured into Sapspa, I'll told. Here, take these flask restorative to tend those who may have been wounded. Though it pains me even to consider the notion, if they have perished, circumstances permitting, I ask that you recover their bodies. By no means venture too deep into enemy territory. However, we can ill afford to lose you at this juncture. Okay, now I can go into Sapspa. <coughs> Ooh. Apparently I have the hiccups. This should make for interesting streaming material. Ugh. I hate hiccups. Somebody, of all times, to forget the restorative. Ugh. This fast-acting concoction temporarily imbues strength while suppressing pain, allowing wounded soldiers to make their way to safety. Thank you. I owe you my life. We were ambushed by the Serpent Reavers. Lightly armed as we were, we didn't stand a chance. I was able to flee this far, but the others were captured. They were taken to the Serpent's Tongue, I'm certain of it. I can make my way back to camp, but I fear the worst for my comrades. Save them, I beg you. and rescue them. Jeez, that guy must have been heavy. Took a lot to fold him up to put him in my pocket.
You've returned. Thank the navigator. When I learned that you went to the Serpent's Tongue by yourself, I feared you'd be met with an untimely demise. But tell me, what became of the others? The mutilated corpse of a Maelstrom soldier. Dear gods, these wounds were not intended to kill, but to torture and maim. Does their savagery know no bounds? Enemies are no, they go too far. I dread to think what may have become of the two who remain unaccounted for. I pray that they haven't suffered the same evil fate. At the very least, one of my men came back alive, and for that, I owe you my thanks. The price, was pa the price we paid was dear, but we have the intelligence we need. Even as we speak, the Admiral finalizes the details of the operation. The war horns will sound any moment now. Be ready to sally forth when you do. Thrice damned fishback bastards, I'll kill them slowly and then chase their rotten souls through all seven hells. Peace, Commander. We are here for a purpose, and vengeance is not it. I want your mind on a task at hand, Savvy. M m my apologies, Admiral. Well, you may count on me to keep a clear head. Good. According to our sole surviving scout, the Sahagin and their thralls have already begun to amass at the Aetherite in the depths of Sopspa. If we are to act, it must be now. The men are ready, but we await your orders, Admiral. As predicted, the Sahagin have tightened security in and around the spawning grounds. A frontal assault is like to be met with fierce resistance. Ah, but we are not so artless as that, Commander. We shall divide our forces and strike them hard and fast at key locations. Remember, our ultimate objective is to take the Sopspa Aetherite and eliminate the Sahagan priests presiding over the summoning. We are not here to kill them all. The Maelstrom shall engage and distract the Sahagan's legion of drowned pirates at the Serpent's Tongue. Commander, you have charge over this effort. Be mindful that the lay of the land there is devilish for attacking forces. Let the foreign levy spearhead the assault and have subsequent units fan out to cover their flanks. At the selfsame moment, a diversionary squadron formed of galleons from the Crimson Fleet shall harry the enemy from offshore. In the... In likewise, we scions, in likewise, we scions shall form smaller units in hopes of confusing the Sahagan's defensive effort. Gael and Ishtola, the two of you are to make your way to the site of the summoning ritual. The Admiral's diversion should serve to thin the enemy's defensive, rendering your path less perilous. A small party, I believe, should be able to win through without drawing unwarranted attention. Thankrit and Yugiri, your mission is to lure as many Sahagan as possible out of the spawning grounds. Having done so, take to your heels and circle round to join the infiltration unit of Ishtola and Gale. When all has been set in motion, I myself shall cut a path to the Aetherite, accompanied by Lady Minfilia, as we agreed. Well, don't let me keep you, friends. To battle! When last did we fight side by side, Gail? Too long ago, I warrant. But come, let us away. I wonder if she doesn't say that if you don't start in Limsa. Even with the diversions, the pass of the Aetherite is bound to be fraught with danger. Pray, be constant guard, Gail. Once everything has been set in motion, I too shall make my way to the Aetherite. As briefly as agreed, Lady Minfilia will be with me. Off we go. One of my most favorite Thrankard moments is coming up. It may even be the moment I decided he was best boy.
To get to the Fishback's Aetherite, you'll need to fight your way through three checkpoints in all. No small task, that, but at least you won't have so many drowned pirate curs to worry about. Me and the lads will be keeping them nice and busy for you. The summoning ritual is taking place at the Beastman Aetherite deep within. Thither we must go. Obstructing our way is a multitude of checkpoints. It will be well advised to dispatch as many enemies as possible along the way that we might avoid later interference. Let us take separate routes and merge before the Aetherite, the better to confuse the enemy sentinels. I'll go left. Pray, do not concern yourself. It was but a glancing blow. Come, the Aetherite is close at hand. Let us press on.
them. They have made thralls of soldiers and civilians both. Did I miss much? That's my boy. So that is how you fight in the Far East. Mental note, pick no quarrel with Domans. But seriously, if I am to keep up, I must needs forsake elegance for efficiency. There's my rogue. Bard. To the etherite. It was a lot more exciting the first time I saw it. You'll forgive me my lateness. I've been something of a liability of late, I know. It is high time I set about making amends. I know this sensation. It's the echo. What? Deliverance! 
damn you! Heavens forfend. Damn it all! My being, death the word. It could my right be infinite. Am I not immortal? Where did he go? What say you? Nary a single ship. Hells take that sea demon. Gather the survivors and get to shore. Leave the wrecks for the pirates. Leviathan wastes no time. The diversionary squadron is lost. For a mercy, twould seem the primal now makes for open sea. But why does he not press his advantage? Unless... God save us! He means to unleash a tidal wave! It is his ultimate attack. Gods of this realm are vengeful beings. Tis little wonder the Garlians fear their kind so. If we meet Leviathan on the open sea, we put ourselves at the Primal's mercy. We must think of a way to face him on equal terms. Though the mission ended in failure, I take solace in the knowledge that Menphelia is unharmed. Had we only arrived at a moment earlier, but there is no time to brood over what might have been. Leviathan is returned, we must needs find a way to deal with him. Understand, I speak of no normal wall of water. That which Leviathan makes ready to conjure carries more destructive power than aught seen in nature. Enough to raise entire coastal sediments if his last attempt is any guide. We cannot suffer history to be repeated, yet how in the seven hells are we to prevent it? Though our plight cries out for action, we must take thought. So long as Leviathan remains in the open sea, he is effectively beyond our reach. Our fleet is second to none, of that you may be sure, but... Lane herself would struggle to best the Lord of Whirl in this element. In a straight fight, he would make meat and match one of us. We need another plan. That much is plain. Let us return to Limsa and see if we cannot think of one. I shall await you in the command room. More zoning. <sighs> Ugh. 
No, no, I did not mean to walk into Hawker's Alley. I went the wrong way. You are expected in the command room. Pray, do not keep Earl the Admiral waiting. Being the observant adventurer that you are, you will doubtless have noticed my dagger work back at Sapsa. You know me, Gail. I like to dabble in a bit of this and a bit of that. No, you're not a bard, you're a rogue. The Sahagan Elder claimed to have become eternal, yet he was summarily consumed by Leviathan. What does this imply? When I saw Leviathan rise from the depths, I could not well describe what I felt. No words could prepare one for such a sight. To confront the Lord of Whirl in his watery domain is far from ideal, yet he is not like to come to us. Would that he lacked the means to strike us from afar. If Leviathan is allowed to unleash a tidal wave, nothing within ten malms of the coast will be safe, let alone Limsa. I trust you see what's at stake here. There used to be a hamlet beyond South Tidegate in western Lanosha. Hearthstone, it was called. Some years prior to the Maelstrom's founding, Leviathan rose from the briny depths and set about unleashing watery hell upon us. On that occasion, the company of heroes put him down before he could do too much damage. But when the bastard came next, this time in the wake of the calamity, we were not so fortunate. Weary of ravaging our shoreline, he summoned a tidal wave which fell level Hearthstone and washed the soil away for good measure. The area was subsequently occupied by the Sahagin. Aye, the thrice damned creatures transformed it into a spawning ground for their brood. Given the quantity of crystal stolen to feed him and his legion of thralls, we can be fairly sure that Leviathan is stronger now than in his previous incarnations. If that sea demon is left to wreak havoc, what befell Hearthstone may well befall a larger settlement, even Limsa. That cannot happen. The primal must be stopped. That was ever our objective, Admiral. But how are we to achieve it? The sea is Leviathan's uncontested domain. The ships of the 3rd Squadron could not close to within a hundred yards of the Primal, nor could their cannons pierce his defenses. I have read the reports, Master Thancred. Our warships may as well have been bloody pleasure barges for all the good they did. Seven Hells! Is there no way that we might strike back? The company of heroes defeated Leviathan, having first lured him into an inlet. But we must needs contend with him upon the open sea. It will avail us little to consult past experience. Admiral, if I may. Speak freely, Marshal. By all accounts, Leviathan's most formidable weapon is the very sea itself. Waves and whirlpools, tides and currents, all these things are his to command. The key to victory, I believe, lies in disarming our foe. This, in effect, is what the company of heroes achieve with their ruse. We cannot lure Leviathan from the sea a second time. But what if we could weaken his hold upon the element of water? I have heard of devices capable of such wonders. They draw upon the power of corrupted crystals, I am told. 
If mounted upon a ship, such a device might be used to prevent Leviathan from bringing the full force of the sea to bear against us, rendering him no more dangerous than any other sea serpent. Of course! Sid built a similar device to grant the Enterprise safe passage through Garuda's Tempest, did he not? Begging your pardon, my lady, but to give credit where it's due, this is something I heard from an old arcanist friend of mine. It makes little difference who thought of it first, so long as it works. Beg the specifications of this device from your friend, and I shall pass them on to our people at Naldic and Vermelis. But before we proceed any further, I would voice one concern. Piercing Garuda's defenses is one thing. Suppressing Leviathan's attacks, quite another. In matters of science, I am as a babbling babe, but I cannot well imagine that such a feat would be possible without a veritable mountain of corrupted crystals. The question being, do we have a ship big enough to bear such a burden? Mayhap not, Admiral, but too might. Recall you the tale of Mistbeard's greatest haul? It is said that he lashed two ships together, side by side, the better to bear his plunder. By your leave, we might attempt to repeat the trick. The gods know it would be quicker than building a new vessel. Mistbeard did this? Truly, Marshal. Upon the subject of the Pirate King, you are as a scholar. He's my spirit. Now, from what I have gleaned of these matters, the device will need to be in close and constant proximity to the target. To wit, we must lash our twin vessel to Leviathan. This in itself will be no small feat. Ramming speed will be required, but given the weight of the cargo, that will only be attainable with the aid of a towing vessel. Suffice it to say, the task of piloting said vessel will entail considerable danger, and I would not ask it of another. I volunteer myself. It will be dangerous for all involved but we have no better recourse. Very well. Commodore, assemble the remnants of the fleet at Moraby Bay. Give priority to our soundest vessels. The repairs can wait. Storm Marshal Slapierson, command of the operation is yours. I want that twin vessel ready to sail post-haste. At once, Admiral. Now that's a and smirk. then there is the small matter of slaying the beast. The fate of Limsa Lominsa rests upon your shoulders once again. Go well, warrior of light. held as gods also exist beings held as god also exist in what you call the far east legends tell us that they walked among us in days of yore but i confess that i never truly believed them that i should live to behold one is humbling and horrifying in equal measure now that i have come face to face with the primal i do begin to understand why the garleans fear them so what is it A message, Admiral. I judge it best that it be delivered at once. I am listening. According to the Yellow Jackets, a man has appeared who claims to have defeated Leviathan. One of the company of heroes? The details are yet hazy, Admiral. We have dispatched one of our own to question the individual. Hmm. 
I am disinclined to put any store by his claim, and even should it be true, it is as Yushtola said, none save the company of heroes have bested Leviathan, and we know well how well they went and we know how they went about it. If this man is of their number, what could he tell us that we do not know already? And yet, having wagered Limps' survival on two ships, some rope, and a pile of crystals, can we afford to ignore this man? If his testimony could yield us any manner of vantage, should we not hear it? Damn it all. The twin vessel will soon be ready. We have no time to wait for the Maelstrom's report on this supposed Primor Slayer's claims. Gale, seek him out and learn what he knows. At the very least, it will spare you the torment of waiting for the reckoning in idleness. The man you are looking for is believed to be a resident of Grey Fleet in Lower Lamos Nanosha. The Storm Private sent to question him should already be in the vicinity. May your journey prove fruitful. I hope it's not the fake Company of Heroes, doofus. Uh, best way to go is out of Tempest Gate. Not you. Now look here, you. You have your bloody story right after you carry these sacks of grain over to the mill. But, sir, that's what you said before you, you had me pick those oranges for you, and before I mucked out the chocobo stables, and before I rolled that millstone over to the mill, and also before... Gods, man, I've worked three days straight without a wink of sleep. Three days! And do you hear me complaining? Bah, I suppose some of us just aren't made for the rougher stuff. All right, all right, I'll give you what you want. Never let it be said that old Tractone ain't a generous soul. Now pick up your ears, because I won't be repeating myself. Too modest, see? Besides, there's only so much epicness a man can take in one sitting, you can? Ahem. <clears throat> The tale of Tractium's epic victory over the dread primal Leviabetus. Now, Leviabetus huge, make no mistake, to give you an idea how big each of his scales is about as wide across as me members long, and that's no mean feat, let me tell ye. 
When I fought him, I could barely see for all the brine he was pelting me with. Must have been a lagoon's worth, at least. He even knocked me trusty axe out of me hands at one stage. Course, that proved to be a grave mistake. <laughs> what happened next? Why, I grabbed him by the tail and tied him up in knots, but not wanting to take all the glory for myself, I let me mates in the company of heroes handle the rest. Like I said, I'm modest as well as heroic. Mayhap too modest. Now, there some as say you can never truly beat Leviabetus. There you've got to learn to live with him and make the best of a bad situation. Not the company, though. <sighs> it's you! I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I was just enjoying the attention is all. I, I take it back. Everything I said. I was never part of the company of heroes. I'm no marauder. I'm actually a complete coward. I'm no dung. No, I'm the maggots you find wriggling in chocobo dung. I have to lie to women to tumble them and that don't happen much. Me member's tiny. It's pathetic. I sure as hell didn't fight Leviabetus, but... But I have seen him with my own eyes. T'was a fair few years back when I was working as a baker's hand. I was shirking me duties one day, loitering about the harbor when I saw it. A great mass, big massive sea serpent, some malms off the coast with a fleet of galleons making straight for it. Cat in fire and I was so bloody scared I, scared I soiled myself right then and there. Oh, oh god, just remembering the day made me soil myself all over again. Uh, if you're asking after Levibetus, it's you're planning to fight him, eh, right? Well, take care. He he really is terrible. Dreadful, I tell ye. If you're not careful, you end up in his gullet or the bottom of the sea. Why, you worthless lying horse son, I can't believe you made me handle chocobo dung. Gail, this is Menphilia. We're able to learn aught of use of use against Leviathan. I beg your pardon? Livia Betis? I see. That is unfortunate. At any rate, I have tidings for you. The twin vessel is now complete. We await you at Morby Dry Box Dry Docks. Pray, make your way here as soon as you are able. In order to build the Horde Eater, we had to decommission two perfectly serviceable galleons. Suffice it to say, their captains weren't best pleased with the notion, but when I offered them the chance to keep their ships and face Leviathan in our stead, they magnanimously withdrew their complaints. We must all make sacrifices for the greater good, they said. It will require no small amount of helmanship to tow the Horde Eater. I dare say delivering you safely to Leviathan will be a battle in itself. Would that we had armed ourselves with more knowledge beforehand. Well, it cannot be helped now. I take comfort in the fact that you have faced worse odds in the past and have ever prevailed. You will do so again. Of that I have no doubt. When first Master Einzar proposed the twin vessel, I must confess that I had my doubts. Only now that the holy tour is complete do I see the elegance of the solution. To complete the twin vessel in so short a time and with limited materials, the people of Naldic and Vimelis have won an admirer in me. I'm told your jaunt to the Great Fleet proved fruitless. My sympathies, lad. I'll wager it serves to take your mind off at the events of recent days, though, but enough of that bonnet nonsense. The moment of truth is upon us. 
The twin vessel, the Holy Eater, I call her, is complete, and she surpasses all my expectations. In addition to her prodigious tonesage, she has been fitted with a platform that you and yours might maneuver freely in battle. I would mention also that she is nigh unsinkable, but I'm not one to tempt fate. The Holy Eater and her crew stand ready, my friend. Just give the word, and we shall bear you to Leviathan. Bear me to Leviathan, so I can get a new axe. Ah, I know that look. You are ready. Having been constructed in some haste, the Holy Eater may not be pretty, but I assure you she is capable. She's been fitted with what our friends at Naldic and Vimelis are calling an Elemental Converter. Assuming the thing works, it will use the power of corrupted crystals on board to rob Leviathan of his hold over water. Depending on how the battle unfolds, you will well need to activate the device manually. Keep that in mind. It is expected that the Sahagan and their thralls will attempt to come to Leviathan's defense. Accordingly, the Maelstrom will once again employ diversions. Banquet and Yashola, I would have you assist in this effort. It is to fulfill its purpose your diversionary force must not want for numbers. By your leave, I too would volunteer my blade. We would welcome it. Having seen you fight in Sapsa, I dare say the fishpacks will find your presence highly diverting. Thancred and Yashola, if you would join the third Yivi Davi and Lady Yugiri, the fifth. But what words have I for the man who has made a sport of slaying gods? Only these. Go warily, for the sea is an unforgiving place to wage war. May the navigator guide you through the storm, warrior of light. And I would echo the admiral's sentiments and add a few words of mine own. Know that we all have bid the utmost faith in you, Gael. May the crystal bless and keep you. And now we wait. Okay, that's a 10 minute wait. So I'm gonna call it here and say thanks for watching. Um, maybe I'll try to stream a little bit more tomorrow morning just to get another little episode filmed. Um, and then other than that, I would be back on Wednesday to work on 2.3. Um, and we'll keep going. All right. So thanks for watching. We have Gail. Say goodbye. With Anchor chatting in the background. Ta-ta!